both the swimming sea hawks and stole themes and plugins of WordPress. So whenever you install WordPress, you will get this page by default or this theme by default. So for watching how to install WordPress, you can watch my previous tutorial how to configure, install and set up, set up WordPress on localhost. Now if we want to change the look of this page, so for that you need to change theme. So for changing themes, we can uh, click on dashboard. Now in dashboard under appearance you can see themes option over here or here so you can add themes by using either this symbol plus symbol or by pressing this button add new so whenever you click on add new or plus button you get same screen like this so there are two ways for installing our wordpress theme first way is to install from these given themes and the second way is uh, for installing your premium theme so whenever you bought a premium theme you uh, you get in, it in zip file so you need to upload that theme from here so first of all we will see how to install these given so click on popular or latest according to category whichever you want now suppose we want to install this sydney theme so for that we will click on install button As you can see that theme is going to be installing. Now theme has been installed. So for applying any theme you need to activate that theme. So we can click on activate button. Here you can see that this theme is activated now. So uh, how do you know which theme is activated? You get customize button under that theme and rest of the themes contain activate button. So now see look of that website now. Click on uh, your website name install now. As you can see that the theme has been applied. Now second step how can we change the theme by uploading any theme or you can say that premium theme so click on add new button or upload theme now from here you can choose a file zip file suppose i want to choose this theme open now click on install now button Now, as I have said earlier that without activating any theme, you cannot use that theme. So for using this theme, you need to activate this. As you can see that now this theme has been act activated. So click on install dot form. Look has been changed to a new theme. So in this way you can install themes for your website. Now the second step. So before proceeding in brief I will tell you uh, basically themes are used for changing look of your website. Now for adding extra functionality into your website you need to add plugins. So plugins are the packages that increases functionality of your website so in same manner as we installed theme earlier by two ways uh, 
by uh, first is given uh, themes and second is uh, the theme which we have downloaded earlier okay similarly we can use plug uh, we can install plugins in two ways by in, uh, installing from the given list and second by uploading the plugin which we have already in our folder so similarly go to this plugin option now click on add new now popular or from here you can select any of the plugin according to your requirement according to functionality you need you click on contact form contact form is one of the most important plugin that we use in our all websites because every website have uh, contains contact uh, us page so click on install now Now contact form 7 has been installed. Now click on activate button for activating that plugin. In plugins you can see the list of all plugins you, uh, you have installed. Now according to your requirement you can activate or deactivate or do any setting uh, for your plugin. Now how can you use this form? Let us briefly this so you can see here a contact link now click on add new now here you can see the text now suppose you want to uh, write enter your name and after that there is a text field in which you can enter your name so you can write enter your name enter your email or subject or your message and then there, there will be a button name send button now click on save for this you will get a short code as you can see here short code now con click on contact forms now here you you have number of forms and which when do you need according to requirement you can select that form suppose we we will using this so copy that code suppose we want to paste contact form in our sidebar for this go to appearance and widgets this is our sidebar so you can simply take a text file add this to your sidebar add widget suppose now you give this name contact us and under this you can paste in visual you can paste copy it show now click on save and close now click on install.com or your website name here you can see your contact us form okay. now now the second step we will install a plugin from downloaded folder now go to dashboard plugins add new upload plugin now choose this file this file is also in zip format suppose um, we are using tiny mce advanced plugin now click on install now this plugin is basically used for for formatting uh, of a text it provide a use good user interface now 
go to your post or page as we have this page as our startup page you can see here hello world so we click on this now you can see here this is our tiny bar plugin so basically it increases functionality by giving you different format option or you can add links or images easily suppose you want to bold this text then you click on bold and you want to add any media any link or if then you suppose you want to insert any link or this then you can click on this insert button and paste that link similarly you can do, uh, do different formatting according to your requirement so after that update that page click on install now here you can see that that your post has been updated when you click on this read more button you will see here the bold text so in this way we have installed this plugin by uploading method so in this way we install plugins and uh, themes for our website thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe like and comment thank you bye bye